Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Andrew's Answers. I've got a couple of buying secrets for you, but shh, just between you and me, okay? Well, and the internet, of course. So most people, when they go into the market to buy a home, it doesn't matter if it's their first home, their fifth home, or their 10th home, most people go about it the same way. You go online, you enter in your criteria, your price range, your areas, it gives you a list of homes, and you're off to the races. Not a bad place to start, and I certainly wouldn't discourage anybody from starting their home search that way. But the tips I have for you today are those that are going to be really foundational and critical to the long-term enjoyment of whatever it is you decide to buy. So before you put pen to paper, here's some things that you should consider. Now, your home is really your base of operations. It's where the whole of your existence is operated out from. So when you consider distance to work, where extracurricular activities are held, uh, maybe you have hobbies that are outside the home, uh, it could be like where are your friends and family, all these sorts of things are really critical for you to consider before you actually sit down and start writing offers. I mean, consider this. Lots of places are beautiful and they may be in an ideal setting. However, the commute to and from work could be quite extensive. Now remember too that the travel time that it took you to get to looking at that home is not going to be the regular commute from a day-to-day -day perspective. What I suggest to my clients to do before they buy is actually travel the route to and from the property they're considering buying during the actual hours that they're going to be traveling it if they buy it. I mean, imagine if you go out to look at a home on a Saturday morning and there's very little traffic. That's going to be a whole lot different than a snowy Tuesday. The other thing too is, depending on the distance from your family and friends, especially if you're either a bit social, you've got to consider what is a cab ride going to cost? Is there any bus services available? I mean, there are times where I've actually had people consider a home and then they kind of thought through exactly what I'm saying now and they discovered, wow, my friends are 25 or 30 kilometers away and that's going to be really inconvenient. So maybe we should condense our area and make sure we're a little bit closer to those social touch points. As I said, like your home is your base of operation. Do you want to be spending a half hour to and from hockey every week or to and from whatever social activity? Maybe you want to go to a paint night, but it's just too far out of the way. I'm not suggesting you shouldn't buy a home where you want to, but I'm suggesting that before you actually put pen to paper and you make your purchase, you should consider where your school, work, hobbies, family, recreation, where all of that is in relation to your home and as practical as you can, make sure this is measured on the day-to-day -day basis that this is gonna be in your lived experience. I guarantee you, you will make a better choice about whatever it is you buy. I hope this gives you something to talk about uh, as, as purchasers before you get into the market or before you decide to buy. It's a great conversation to have with your agent and I just hope this, this information is something that, that helps you through the buying process. I'm always here to answer questions. All of my contact information is below. You can check me out on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, whatever you like. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget you can subscribe and follow along. Thanks again for your time and we'll see you next time.